I don't always choose AMD, but when I do, I choose MSI. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna pop this back here and keep it where it's at. So welcome everybody. Today we're gonna be going over the RX 5700 XT uh, by MSI and this particular model is the mech overclock model. Now it does boast a boost clock of 20 megahertz over the standard 5700 XT. So, and of course everybody has heard and seen out there the cooling issues and the noise levels of the reference card of the AMD 5700 XT. So that's why I snagged one of these because I really want to test whether or not this is actually going to stay cool. Now this video is more of an unboxing just to kind of go over why I bought this and to let you guys know if you should buy this or you should wait. So what I'm currently using in my system is an RTX 2070. Now there's been a lot of updates to that, the 2070. And that's kind of where I landed when I bought this um, RX 5700 was, do I get the 2070 Super or do I wait for the um, AIB cards on the 5700 XT? And really it came down to what I was gonna be using this for. Now here at home, I'm gonna be using my computer mostly for gaming. Now I'm not going to be doing gaming streams. Like I said before in other videos, I'm just a gaming enthusiast. I'm not a streamer that goes online and does tons of streams and all that other stuff. But there's a new game coming out, Borderlands 3, and I played a lot of Borderlands 2 and it was a fun game. I also played a lot of Call of Duty. So when it came to deciding which card I was going to get, I actually chose the 5700 XT uh, because it actually boasts a little bit better performance in a lot of the games out than the 2070 Super. So I can show you all the different graphs and you know specs and metrics, but honestly, a lot of other people have done the same exact thing. So um, my analysis really came to cost performance per dollar. That's really what it came down to. And I spent about 50 to $100 less for the MSI mech here than I would have for the 2070 Super. And that being said, the um, I did also read that the RTX um, platform is kind of, well, I guess I should say that I did read that the new AMD um, platform is going to be built on much further than the current RTX platform. Like I said, I'm really trying to give the average person uh, the insight as to why I decided to grab this guy and if it actually works better than the 2070, not the Super, but just the regular RTX 2070. So again, the, the only thing I really kind of came down to was price versus performance and the cooling. If, if I'm in a room right now where it's really hot and it's probably like 75, 78 degrees, somewhere in there, and it's not even that warm outside. Um, so I need something that's gonna cool really well um, with the rest of my computer. So that's why I waited for the MSI version to come out of the 5700 XT because it's got dual fans on it. So my plans are to replace the RTX 2070 that I have 
with the 5700 XT. Now, a lot of people are like, why, you know, like the 2070 is actually a really good, you know, graphics card and you don't really need to do that. You're just doing that for this video. And the truth is that the 2070 uh, actually works better for video editing than any AMD out there. And the reason why is it, it operates off CUDA cores. It has more multi-thread capability um, and multi-rendering capability than any of AMD's cards. So um, after looking at some specs, I realized that this 2070 actually needs to be in my editing rig, which is at one of my offices and not at home. So that's why I decided to get the uh, Mac here, the 5700 XT from MSI. And in this video, I'm basically just kind of telling you if it's worth the wait or not, in my opinion, uh, to grab one of these uh, AIB cards, like the Mech or the Evoke or the, the Gigabyte or the Power Color, uh, if Newegg still has them in stock by the time this video gets uploaded, should you wait? Or is it just all a bunch of nonsense and it runs hot anyways? but is that going to affect overall performance and is the cooling good enough as is with the single blower fan on the reference card and is it just the noise that people are really irritated with? So, I waited. I waited and what I'll be doing is swapping this out and to really keep the system cool, I grabbed the M22. I am right running a Ryzen 7 2700, and I do plan on overclocking that once getting this liquid cooler in there, but not by a whole lot. So I'm doing all of this because I'm gonna be gaming, and this room I'm in is very hot. So, um, so yeah, I definitely need some extra fans, some extra cooling when I am gaming because uh, if I don't get that, then this thing's gonna freaking melt into my desk and I don't want that to happen. So, we'll do a, a bit of an unboxing here on the 5700 XT. So MSI does send you some of their gear. It looks like probably some stickers. Yep, they give you the mech stickers. They tell you about their uh, gaming hardware family and they're really promoting their newest monitor right now graphics card, quick user manual. Uh, and they put it in a fancy envelope to make it seem like it's super important. Bam. So this did ship to me from Newegg. I mean, I camped the website. I put myself on the waiting list uh, for when these products came in stock. And as soon as they did, um, I snagged one. So this is the card itself. And I have some other, some other B-roll. Now, that's this channel isn't just going to be new products and all these fancy, expensive items that we can find and you know things like that. No, this one was bought for a reason. We actually want to be able to do some really cool, high-resolution shots, some B-roll, and we also want to be able to edit and game on some of the consoles so we can test certain products. Um, especially because one of the things we're going to be doing is building and selling computers. We want to be able to benchmark them versus other components that are considered high end. So today I will be putting this guy into that computer I have sitting right over here and we're going to plug it in and just give it a test um, and see how it works. I'm not going to benchmark or anything today, um, but we are just going to test it out to see kind of how well it works. Um, versus the 2070, just kind of general setup. And I will pause the video and do a quick setup and we'll go from there. So I have my screwdriver, I have the card, and I'm kind of on a chintzy little table, but um, that's okay, I'll live. This RTX card is actually super hot, it runs in this room runs pretty warm. So I'm thinking it'll actually be a better card at our other location because we have AC running all the time. 
And I know that this card in particular, the 5700 XT was, you know, launched and everybody said it was super hot, but it's a much smaller card. So I'm actually thinking that it is going to uh, have a little more airflow and space in this particular case to where the, the extra fans I do have are, are going to do much more for it than uh, the RTX card. So bam, uninstalled. This card is much smaller. I wanted something a little bit shorter um, that would have a little more space here to be able to breathe a bit. Um, because like I said, it's kind of hot in here. Okay, where did the other clamp go? Ah, yes, it's right here. I don't like when the wires are crossed, even though I don't like this loop sticking out. I can at least live with that. I don't know, maybe I'll get an extra cable to manage this a little bit better so it looks better because it kind of looks like crap right now. But it's in, it's installed, it's ready to go. Let's set it up. All right, all right, let's fire this sucker up. The screen is not quite sure what it wants to do on initial boot up, but that could be related to drivers. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to device manager. See if I had plugged this directly into my work computer would actually have the drivers already downloaded uh, because I had previously had an AMD, I think it was R7 in it a while back. Yeah, I just had to download the right drivers and get everything rocking, which honestly you can do beforehand. You can download the software beforehand. That way it's a quicker process once you install the actual graphics card. So. Hey, thanks for sticking with me this far, you guys. And thank you for taking the time to watch this content. I wanna let you guys know that we do plan on creating some more content around the 5700 XT and other graphics cards and how they really stack up versus each other. Like we do have a uh, 1070 Founders Edition SLI versus 2070 uh, versus the 5700 XT coming out. And we're gonna be doing a lot more benchmarking with all of these cards. But this video is very simple. We just wanted to get the product out there, let you guys see it, and write your opinions in the comments below. So let's wrap this up. I'm gonna go back to my desktop. We're gonna do a quick debrief, and that'll be the end of the video. Okay, so to wrap this up, uh, it was a pretty, pretty easy install. Yeah, I had to download some drivers, so far, everything's going fairly well. I will say I did have to do a little bit of troubleshooting on my end uh, because of other components, not because of the card. But so far, I am getting a pretty audible noise from the card, uh, almost as if it's got like a ticking in the metal. And I'm almost wondering if that's maybe just on the first run or so. Uh, I haven't really ramped up the card by any means, but so far it's plugged in. It's running pretty much all of my basic graphic design. Uh, it's being detected by device managers, MSI Afterburner, IQ, all of that. So no troubles there. Um, so I'm excited to get in a little bit further, maybe run some bench tests, push this thing a little bit and see how it performs. But for this video, I uh, just wanted to show kind of the basic unboxing and tell you why I got the card. And so far, it's actually fixed an issue I had with my monitor and the 2070. The 2070 was creating some glitching. I think the drivers weren't as compatible and it's working flawlessly. I was getting a glitch down here in the bottom half of the screen. This is a brand new monitor, so I knew it wasn't the monitor. 
So anyways, uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you and have yourself a good day.